Large indoor gatherings without masks and distancing is very dangerous. And hours to, at a table, that's the worst, according to doctors. It happened in Canada. Cases there shot up two weeks after their Thanksgiving. It's a cautionary tale for Americans. CNBC's Rahel Solomon live now at a train station in Princeton, New Jersey. Rahel, are, are people heeding this warning? <laughs> Hi, Shep. Well, 43% of celebrating Americans say they're not traveling or visiting family or friends this Thanksgiving, but more than a third say they are, and about 23% say they're still not sure. That's according to a recent Yahoo poll. But with cases rising, Shep, health officials are sounding the alarm, saying this is not the time to let your guard down. In fact, just the opposite. This is the hardest point in this pandemic right now, the next two months. We've done a very good job sheltering a lot of people and keeping people safe. We can't give up our guard right now. I think we need to continue to be vigilant. But, Chef, people we talk to say they're conflicted. Some say they're going to wait until a little bit closer to Thanksgiving to decide. And others telling us they have already been told by their parents, don't come home. Thanksgiving was going to be a wash itself just because the last couple of months I was really actually hoping to go home for Christmas. I think it's a game time decision that'll probably be talked about within a week or so but it seems like seems like everyone's just avoiding it for now. All the, the messages that Fauci and some of the other doctors have been getting out about the, the fact that so much of the spread now is coming from those small sort of in-person gatherings it's just you know it's not worth it. And Shep, we also know that some grocers like Sam's Club, which is typically known for their bulk offerings, well, they're preparing for perhaps smaller gatherings as well. This year offering smaller hams and Shep, even smaller desserts. <laughs> Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.